Yo! What is up? We are returning with some Hearts of Iron. For got our Swiss Imperial Confederation. Probably what's going to be the greatest superpower man has ever known. We just pretty much single-handedly wrecked France last episode. Um, our little German buddies were struggling with Netherlands and Belgium, so we had to go in there and wreck them. And now we are setting at, what, two and a half years about before Operation Barbarossa. And I've got a lot of work to do. Uh, my army blows, my templates blow, and my stability blows even harder. Switching to fascism absolutely wrecked our stability, so I'm going to focus on getting that back up. I'm going to focus on building up an army and trying to get as much army experience as I can so that I can change my templates. I already got my bros lined up to go into Denmark whenever Germany decides that that's what they want to do. And then I'll swing down to Yugoslavia, help out there, help out in Greece. That should give me a decent amount of army experience. Um, uh, any other plans? Basically, no, just the main goal is to build up for the invasion of the Soviet Union. Um, and that's what I'm going to be doing for a while. So, I'm going to get started on that. And here we are. We are prepared for our war with Denmark. Although I forgot to draw up a battle plan. That should do, get them started and release the fury of the fascist Swiss army. Look at that. There's just no stopping them. Although, how'd your front line end up over here when your goal was over here? That's interesting. A boma Denmark has capitulated. We now have our war with Yugoslavia. My guys are in position. Get them started and let's wreck this place. Uh, well, I'm doing my front line here. Ah, oh, shit, I guess everywhere. That's fine. There you go. Try that. Get me some army experience. So what, Yugoslavia has about 10 divisions up against what looks to be a hundred. Yep. <laughs> Just about a hundred. Actually like 120, 130. Okay, what's the hold up here? Oh, the French and British came in. The Yugoslavians butt buddies. Alright. They're slowly taking a beating along with... Yep, there it is. Oh, boom! My Yugoslavia has capitulated. Let's keep battling it out. So check this out. I'm such good bros with Germany now that I can ask for control of a state. I think, just for now... I'm only going to ask for one. I need a little bit more industry and civilian factories uh, let's go ahead and grab this I'm not asking for much what it said they would bro what happened I thought you were down I thought you said you would give it to us it said they would give it to us asshole Germans oh we finally got our war here with Greece Start my bros up. 
I've been waiting forever for this. I need more armory experience. Damn, my bros are kicking ass. Fascist Swiss domination. Of course, it helps that, um, and Soviet Union declares war on Finland again. Poor bastards. Like I was saying, it, it, it helps that, um, they got a combined maybe seven divisions defending. I'm not going to lie, that's helpful. I'm still gaining stability, bros. I might get up to a little past 30. Somewhere in the 30s by the time we go into the Soviet Union. I have ran out of manpower, though. And we are just about to win our war with Greece. The last remaining British soldiers are about to get shit canned. And there it is. Oh, boom! Greece has capitulated. And that's... Is that it? I think that's it. I think the next war we're going to be fighting is in the Soviet Union. Unless Germany descend, decides they want to land in Norway or something. Soviet Union puppeted Finland. How, how sad. Okay, we are going to try this again with Germany. As for control of state... Let's see if they give it to us. A oh, boom! They gave it up! Thanks, bros. I will make good use of it. Shit, bros. Um, I dropped the ball. I was not paying attention to the time. The German Reich has declared on the Soviet Union. And my troops aren't even over there. I'm sitting here force deploying them and then training them. And uh, yeah, they are not ready. To go to war. Oh crap. Um, well I guess I'll get them ready. So so far as I'm waiting for my slow ass troops to get to the front line. Look at what has already happened. They got a huge pocket of troops in through here. Probably I don't know just looking 60. Romania. It's absolutely kicking ass. Well, I guess it's really not Romania. It looks like mostly German and Italian troops, but they're almost to Kiev already. Up here is going a little bit slower, but down here, damn, they are just wrecking through the Soviet southern flank. Absolute, just demolish. Save a little bit for me. I don't know what's going on. The Soviets don't have any troops here. What ha They had like... What happened to all their troops? Japan's not fighting them. They had like over 200 damn near. And now there's like nothing. I don't know. I, I have no idea what happened to all their troops. That's weird. But I finally got my troops in position. So let's go ahead and get them started up. Look, you're usually going against like... 15 and 20 units on a territory. Uh, what? I wonder what they're doing. Maybe they sent them all east. Maybe they'll make it back here after a little bit. I don't know. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, well, one time I did. But that was when Japan was at war with them, too. So I don't know what's going on. I gotta keep watching out for landings. All hell is breaking loose. Jeez. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. So I got my Panzer Army that's not really a full Panzer Army. Heading towards Leningrad, I've got my main infantry army t trying to take Minsk, which looks like they're about to. And these guys were trying to t take Kiev, which I think has already fallen. Where is Kiev? Here? I mean, the sooner this ends, the better for me, because I don't have the manpower to keep this going for very long. Or the equipment. Okay, it does look like they've brought in some more units. I think for some reason they must have had them all on the eastern front. On their eastern front. Like thinking Japan was going to attack or something. That was strange. It might be too late for them though. We have taken a lot of territory. But yeah, as you can tell the line has stabilized. So since the line is stabilized, I'm going to give all my guys new orders. Look, these guys have not even got to attack yet. Alright, so here's what I got. My panzer group heading towards Leningrad. One infantry army heading towards Moscow. Straight east, that's great. And the other one heading somewhat northeast. Trying to pocket a large group of Soviet troops here. Let's go ahead and get them started. Now this group was already in place. We should see some, some movement here. My Panzer Army was not in place, nor were these guys down here. Well, it looks like they've decided to move these troops they had up here somewhere down in through here because there's hardly nobody up here. My Panzer Army should have no problem making it to Leningrad. Look, there's one troop in our way. One division. In fact, I'm just going to be like all in, bros. Just haul ass. You got this. Did these guys finally get in? Nope. Some of them did. Look, there is nobody up here in front of these guys. Stalingrad is already in sight. Moscow, not so much. Of course, my bros are throwing down some greens here. They're throwing down some W's. And we're about ready to make it to Leningrad. Look, they've called in some troops finally. Yeah, that's probably too late. Well, they're putting up a little bit of defense up here. They've called in some more troops. Wow, this is crazy. Look at this. Damn. Talk about, like, Italians are kicking ass. I mean, Germany's doing all right for themselves, don't get me wrong, but it looks like the Italians are the ones that are just absolutely wrecking everybody. No landings? This is just, like, this is strange. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Usually the, uh, the British try to land, like, in here or up in here. Oh, the fall of Leningrad. Sweet, we have finally broken through up here. Nice. Expand, bros. Oh shit, we got a landing. Uh, I'm gonna have to use my suppression, bros. I was waiting for a landing. I knew it was coming. Is there any others? Oh, there is. We're trying to up there. 
We gotta keep an eye on that. Things are going so good, we can't allow that to happen. I'll tell you what, the Soviets are not giving up. Stalingrad is about to fall, though. Okay, I'm calling these guys out of here. This is... Who's ever up there can handle the rest of that crap? Let's put them right here and drive on Moscow from the north. No planning bonus, just go. There's not too many troops there. Look at that front line. Mostly greens. I don't know what's happened down here. Who's fighting down here? Who's getting their ass kicked? The Germans. Oh, they're crossing a river. All right, I'll give you a break. Uh, we are closing in on Moscow. I don't know where my Panzer Division is that was supposed to be, uh... Bros, you can't be losing to the Finns up here. Uh, this river is holding up the German advance. Oh, they got across, but it looks like he's going to be forced right back over. Oh, yeah, they got across. They're good now. Moscow's defense is holding. We are within one territory of Moscow. Should I do an everybody in? Just everybody that's around here. Press hard into Moscow. How's our German bros doing down here with the river? Oh, they've completely got past it. They're good. Small pocket here, small pocket here. Any landings? Nope. Oh, we are almost ready to take Moscow. We did it. Moscow has fallen. Where's the notification? I don't know, since this new Waking the Tiger DLC, the notifications don't pop up as much when you take a major city. Well, okay. With that, it's just the drive through no man's land to get him to capitulate. I am going to put an infantry division up here against the Finns, though. Soviet Union has taken almost 3 million casualties. We're still set at about 200,000. Nice. How are my templates doing here? 95? Shit, but they've only fought 43 times. Oh, the fall of Pearl Harbor. Oh, what? I haven't even been paying attention to that. What's going on over here? Damn! Japan! I don't know what happened to the common turn and uh, the allies. Their head's just not in it this time around. Um, the progress on the eastern front has uh, slowed down to a snail's pace. Finland front made a little bit of headway. I did see some British in here somewhere. Trying to help out. Oh, there's some French. Any landings? They're trying to. Oh, actually they did. You guys got this? Uh, let me do a quick attack and help them out. Looks like me and my bros have busted through the finish lines. And the Eastern Front is just slow as shit. Ever slow conclusion. Ending in Soviet defeat. They've lost almost three and a half million. They're at 87% towards capitulation. And the Finns have capitulated. 
Noise. What about our Soviet bros here? They are setting at 92%. I just realized we're going to have to call troops up to this front with Norway. I forgot all about that. Mutiny crushed. You damn right it did. Get crushed, that is. Uh, yeah, I'm going to call these bros up here. There's not too many Soviets up here. I'm going to go ahead and put these guys on this front. And give them just some stupid orders. Yeah, just, you know, while you're at it, just drive all the way here. Because I don't want to have to mess with you. Get started. Don't even get a planning bonus. Just go. I'm over it. This dumbass general right here has actually lost two divisions. The war is won. How are you going to lose two divisions? Looks like my German bros are starting to push. Well, damn, they only got six, seven, eight units up here. I haven't seen allies in Norway yet. Bros, you're worried about Tanatuva? You're getting absolutely wrecked by the Kingdom of Romania. Kingdom of Romania has taken over the Soviet motherland. Oh god, what are we at? Um, 97%. Man, I thought we were going to be done with it in like six months after that start. <sighs> Didn't happen that way. The Soviet Union is at 99%. And has lost 4.3 million. Germany's lost 1.6. Italy's lost 1.2. So any time now. Oh God, look what happened, bros. Come on, you're making a mockery of yourselves. You got surrounded. That could be it. Oh, boom, the Soviet Union has capitulated. Oh, what? Damn, that's crazy. Oh shit, they're saying I helped out a lot. The big three here. All right, bros, look at our new Swiss Imperial Confederation. Now remember how close we were to the Germans in points for uh, the peace conference? Well, this is what I ended up with, right? And that's what the Germans ended up with. How in the hell is that possible? Italy didn't get shit. Like what? I don't understand what happened there. Like Germany took absolutely everything. Italy didn't get shit. I got like the shittiest territory there was. That peace conference was shit. I'm kind of pissed off about it. All right, bros, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wrap this up. We will throw down one more episode. Um, taking out the UK and uh, the US. And then we will wrap this series up. If you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. So let this shit out of like, subscribe, and I'll see you back here for the next upload. Peace. Bruminati out.